Hi, it's June, oh no it's not, it's August 13th, it's about 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and we are going to take a look at the small swarm that I had caught early in June. Um, you'll notice I'm not going to smoke them, I already did. I'm a little video challenged, so this is not my first take, <laughs> and I don't see the need to um, smoke them any further. Anyways. Top cover. We're going to check for the queen. Do you see the queen? I do not see the queen. Put that over there. And of course, I've been here already, so I am not going to worry about. Oh, the one thing I wanted to point out. You notice the double, the double layer. Um, there's one thing I am a firm believer of: is insulation. We insulate our homes. For the winter, we insulate our homes for the summer, and it's been said many times before, and I believe it thoroughly, that the bees should be insulated more so than they often are. This was a regular nuke made with half-inch plywood, and I've added this thicker layer of pine. Uh, that I bought as rough pine from Home Depot. Uh, this here is a frame that was originally from one of my other hives. And uh, due to the robbing that was occurring earlier in June, I felt it uh, wouldn't hurt to add some, to give them some nectar from one of the other hives to replace anything they may have lost from the, um, the robbing. And in response, I believe, I believe that added nectar helped tremendously in the, uh, the building of the comb. Because uh, as you'll see, there's a fair bit of comb. There's, oh, selfie, yeah, <laughs> with my buddy from the hive. Oh lord, I'm smoking myself here. Okay, back to it. Anyways, we'll take this one out. This was one of the original combs, because of course I guess it's right by the entrance, so this was the original, one of the original combs they had started building on, building, sorry, early in June. And uh, one thing I've found is the queen is doing an extremely good job producing um, um, laying eggs. Each one of these combs, you'll see, is just full of brood. They have virtually no stores as of yet, but they do, they do have a lot of brood on the comb that they have. So as you'll see, the only drawn comb this colony has is what I stole from the uh, one of my other colonies. All this other comb is is new, fresh, and sourced from the Holland Marsh in Ontario. So they're they're looking happy. They're looking happy. I'm really happy with the. Um, the robbing screen, screen, sorry, screen that I put on earlier. It appears to have done the job. I, you see in my earlier videos that at first they were very confused as to what to do with it, to do about it, how to get it back into their hive. But once they figured it out, which I, I believe was the third day, they have no trouble now. It's incredible, and I, I haven't seen any sign of robbing since then. And there we go again. Where is the queen? Is she on there? She was on the outer, my earlier video that I kind of messed up. She was on the, actually on the outside of the outer frame right here. She was on the outside. And she's got brood all over it. She's got brood on it and everything. It's a fantastic queen. She just can't stop laying eggs. And I really do believe the added insulation has helped especially this year 
with it being so cool and um, wet. It's been so humid and wet. Um, I think the added insulation has really helped out. Um, the smoke is going a little too well. Just a sec. Yeah. Some days I can't get the smoker going, other days it won't stop. Anyways, so that's about it. Um, I hope I didn't bore you too much. Again, um, I think you can see here the bees are... If they, almost every one of them finds their way down rather quickly. Anyways, thank you for watching. And uh, again, this I think I mentioned it's August 13th. Yeah, I did mention it. August 13th. I caught the swarm June 6th, I think it was. Um, if not, I'll, I'll correct it. You'll, you'll see a little correct.